Hi there. I thought I would show you how I do my stick pins and hat pins. I actually make the flowers and bake them on the pins. And this is the um, actual stuff I use. It's a bit like, I think it's called Flymo, but you buy it in packs like this and it's a make and bake. And what I've done is I've used just ordinary pins and and actually place the little petals. I'm going to show you how on this little one with white and purple. Um, and I've just used ordinary sewing pins. Now I also quite like these big long hat pins that I've bought here from eBay and um, I'm going to make the flowers so that when you're looking at it the back of the flower sort of almost comes out around and down like this so that when you're wearing it in your hat you're seeing the flower whereas on these ones I've actually just done the flower on top then you can add like all your other bits and pieces like the little bead caps and I've also got these little trinkets I haven't yet finished them because I'm going to add crystals to them that possibly you know you can hang off have a little chain hanging down but these are what I've been making now I've used these pins here just ordinary sewing pins with um, the coloured heads and when you bake them in the oven the only thing you need to be careful with is that sometimes these little pins start to melt and they, they go a bit wrinkly. I don't know if you can see the little wrinkle there but really it just adds to it so that's a little orange one. So what I do is I soften the flymo or soften the bacon make and I start adding it to the pin so this is how I do it. So I take a little bit so the white is really soft I kind of pull it out like that and I shape it in my hand that's okay that looks a bit weird and I just place it Sort of look at it and place it on like that and push it in and then I kind of shape the leaves a little bit and push them in or maybe curl it down or whatever you want to do and I just keep building on that so I'm just going to add a little red in there just place that maybe there so what I'm trying to do here is I want to build up one side more than the other so when you're actually wearing them because um, these look really good on your lapels, on your jackets, on denim jackets especially, it looks quite cool. Um, so I'm going to have height on this side and down here not so much. And then you can add leaves if you want to, but you just keep going round, literally, and you don't use much of this stuff, it's actually quite amazing. So you just keep, see that's quite a cool shaped leaf. You just keep building and building on what you've started. And I'll show you, I usually, I'm going to take that one off, I don't like that shape. So you just keep going. Just roll it again, flatten it out between your fingers, get a nice little petal and you just push it on, peel it off and push it on and keep going. See how here you're just building around there, we tidy that all up when it's finished. As you can see we're starting to build a whole lot of petals, you can do all sorts of shapes, you can do colours, you can add more and more colours, so I'm going to build the back up like I want to. So. Hang on, I'll just get that better focused. There we go, we can start curling, make that one pointy. You just keep going and it ends up looking like this gorgeous little flower. That's really, really fun to do. So I'm just going to keep showing you. I might do another red petal. So it's really quite reasonable um, to buy this. I buy it from Stationery Warehouse. I, I know you can buy it anywhere. It's just, honestly, I think it was called Fl Flymo. Or Fl I can't remember the name of it years ago. We used to make little badges. But see how, how you're getting that sort of build up? And then in the front here, you know, I'll just get some more. And I just keep it in an air-tight container. I've just got all these colours here. I just keep it all in an airtight container and when I want to use it again I just soften it in my hands like that and away I go so I'll just add another leaf up here and you get this gorgeous little layered flower so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on and when it starts to get really thick I just twist around here and take it off See how I'm just removing the excess. So when I come to bake this, and I just bake it in my fan oven. Actually that's a bit of a red and a white. I'll see what that looks like. Just add that to there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. 
So I'm curl it down. So you, you can just play around, shape all the petals to how you want them. I've actually made one of these each for my sisters. And then, you know, I, I'm actually going to build this up one quite big. I would put a bead cap underneath, like I have on this one here, but the, I think this is too big, so I need to get some smaller ones. I would tidy that up, possibly put a, a, a spacer and then a, a little Swarovski crystal. And I use the backs of earrings at the end because um, I want them to wear these. These are kind of to wear. What I did buy from eBay are these really big long ones, and I think I got it too long. But I'm actually going to do a really big flower, and that's just a glass bead because it will bake fine in the oven. So then I'll do a real big one, put a bead cap, maybe a couple of crystals on this one, and you can pin that through your hat. And here in New Zealand in the summertime it gets really hot, so you do need to wear a sun hat. And I think that would look quite cool with a big flower on it. So that's what I do for my stick pins, and what I bake it in is a lemon. I take a lemon off our lemon tree and I just shove them in and I bake them really quickly for 10 minutes and I leave them to dry in the lemon and it just slides out and these are these are there, all done. So that's how I do it. I just sit there and build on this flower and I'm going to keep going. And then I end up with a gorgeous flower on a stick pin or a hat pin. And yeah, that looks really good. And I like, yeah, I, I make mine so that people can wear them. So, um, yeah, leave me a comment. Uh, I will actually have these on my Etsy store. I've done a whole lot of these. And um, I've also varnished them so that it really stands out. See how that one's wrinkled there because it's, it got a bit hot in the oven. So, yeah, I'm going to sell these on my Etsy store. And it would be great if you could go check out my store. And thank you for watching.